Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla inches toward Gigafactory Indonesia with preliminary deal in place. Tesla starts assembling Cybertruck's 9,000-ton Giga Press inside Giga Texas. Tesla's aggressive pricing strategy was explained by Elon Musk last month. And, Tesla China adds handwriting recognition and WeChat integration in 2022.44.30.8 software update. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla is inching toward establishing Gigafactory Indonesia, as a preliminary deal is nearly in place. According to Bloomberg, Tesla is nearing the agreement of terms to build a 1 million unit annual production vehicle manufacturing plant in Indonesia. The report cited people familiar with the matter. However, Indonesian Investment Minister Balal Lahadalia confirmed that the country is in contact with Tesla and the two parties are discussing a potential deal. Tesla has four active automotive production plants, one in Fremont, California, one in Austin, Texas, another in Brandenburg, Germany, and another in Shanghai, China. Rumors have spread about Tesla's potential commitment to another gigafactory internationally, with Canada and Mexico leading the charge. Indonesia has also been discussed on several occasions, with Tesla's next gigafactory. Indonesian President Joko Widodo has been attempting to woo Tesla and its CEO Elon Musk to commit to a new factory in the country. Last year, he offered a proposal that included a vehicle production facility that would be capable of half a million vehicles annually and a battery manufacturing plant. Last year, Tesla also hosted Indonesian government officials at Gigafactory Texas to discuss raw material supply deals for nickel, a highly utilized metal in the production of electric vehicle batteries. Tesla has not committed to any specific market for its next Gigafactory. Musk said he hoped to announce the location of the next production facility by the end of 2022, and with rumors that Mexico was heavily favored to be the chosen location, Tesla never officially committed to the plans. Adding another Gigafactory in Asia would help supply vehicles to various markets, including Europe, as Tesla has utilized the Shanghai Gigafactory as an export hub for over a year. Moving to the next update, Tesla starts assembling Cybertruck's 9,000-ton Giga Press inside Giga Texas. Over the last few weeks, we have seen several shipments of Tesla's 9,000-ton Giga Press arriving at Giga Texas. The casting machine will be used to produce the Cybertruck's body, which is slated to start production in mid-2023. So far, we have only seen large IDRA boxes arriving and the parts sitting inside the factory, waiting to be put together. But that has now changed, as Tesla has started assembling the 9,000-ton Giga Press, according to the latest drone flyover of the factory. Captured recently by none other than Joe Tegmeyer, we can see the base for the Giga Press has been installed, along with one of the two massive compression plates, already sitting on top, with the other laying on the ground in the background, waiting to be installed. We can also see that Tesla has set up two foundations in this area of the building to support a second 9,000-ton Giga Press, although we can't tell from these images if Tesla has received parts for two machines and will be installing them simultaneously. We reported earlier this week that Giga Press maker IDRA Group announced another Giga Press was ready to be shipped, but this one is heading to Asia. Given that we have never seen such a large casting machine like this being put together, we can't say how long it will take for it to be completed, but this is yet another good sign that Tesla is progressing on their timeline and should meet their target to begin production in mid-2023. Tesla has also already started hiring for the Cybertruck production line, publishing numerous job postings over the last few months. All of the pieces are coming together, but two big pieces that we are still without are finalized pricing and the finalized design for the Cybertruck. Hopefully this information will be coming during the Q4 and 2022 earnings call later this month or possibly during Investor Day in March. Moving to the next update, Tesla's aggressive pricing strategy was explained by Elon Musk last month. There's no denying that Tesla's new pricing strategy is aggressive. 
In recent days, the electric vehicle community has witnessed Tesla practically go for its competitor's jugular by giving its current vehicle lineup significantly lower starting prices. This was quite evident with the Tesla Model Y, which received notable price reductions across the globe. While Tesla executives such as Tesla China VP Grace Tao have remarked that the company's pricing strategies have so far not been driven by the momentum of competitors, it's difficult to argue against the notion that the EV maker now has some legitimate rivals. This is especially the case in China, where companies like BYD are seemingly putting pressure on vehicles like the Tesla Model 3. Interestingly enough, Tesla CEO Elon Musk actually provided an early explanation about the company's new pricing strategy last month. During an appearance at a Twitter Spaces session, Musk explained that he would like to push Tesla's rapid growth, even if it meant that the company's profits would take a hit. The CEO noted that long-term, such a strategy would likely be proven correct. Do you want to grow unit volume, in which case, you have to adjust prices downward, or do you want to grow at a lower rate or go steady? That's sort of the choice there. My inclination would be to still grow. My bias would be to say like, okay, let's grow fast as we can, without putting the company at risk, which would mean that in that scenario, profits would be low to negative during a recession. Provided the cash position is okay, I think that's still the right move long term, Musk said. Elon Musk's comments about Tesla's cash position are quite notable. Over the years, Tesla has been growing its war chest, and during the third quarter of 2022, the company saw a $2.2 billion increase in its cash and marketable securities. With this amount added, Tesla's cash and marketable securities reached $21.1 billion at the end of the third quarter. This was driven mainly by Tesla's free cash flow of $3.3 billion and offset partly by debt repayments of $900 million. More importantly, Tesla's Q3 2022 update letter also highlighted that the company has sufficient liquidity to fund our product roadmap, long-term capacity expansion plans, and other expenses. This bodes well for Tesla in the coming years, especially considering the company's increasingly ambitious goals, such as hitting 20 million vehicles per year by the end of the decade. Moving to the last update, Tesla China adds handwriting recognition and WeChat integration in 2022.44.30.8 software update. Tesla cars are much more than vehicles, as the company continues to add more features through over-the-air updates. For owners in China, two of the latest new features are handwriting recognition and WeChat integration. Version 2022.44.30.8, going out to Tesla EVs in China, and builds on the 2022 holiday update, also adding Mango TV, a video streaming service. WeChat is huge in China and is akin to Twitter on steroids. The communication platform offers everything from calling to video chatting, purchasing goods, and video games. Elon Musk has commented on the importance of WeChat in China, once saying, you can live on WeChat. He nurses similar ambitions for Twitter, which he acquired last year, so it would not be surprising to see Twitter integrated into Tesla vehicles soon. Here's what Tesla included in the release notes for the WeChat app, which translates as follows. Support WeChat applet, enjoy a variety of services. In the application launcher, click the WeChat applet icon to open the list of WeChat applets. Tesla also added a new keyboard input in China with handwriting recognition. Chinese Tesla owners can now write directly on the screen instead of tapping on the keys. The software will convert whatever is scribbled into Chinese characters, as reported by IT Home. It appears, the feature lets the center screen accept the drawing made by the user and then display a set of matching characters from which the user can select. This is an easier mode of input for languages like Chinese, with a large number of characters. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.